Hi, I'm Patrick Klarner. I'm a professor of artificial intelligence at Degendorf Institute of Technology. I teach a number of AI courses like computer vision, natural language processing, but I also teach a course on innovation management. Well, AI has been around since the 1950s, so AI is nothing new. Um, but in the last few years, there has been quite some progress. Like you look at the progress that came through reinforcement learning, through uh, deep neural networks, and they are not only being used in academia now, they are being deployed at a very large scale, and there are now plenty of applications that uh, we deal with every day. AI is the future. I mean, AI is the next step of the Industrial Revolution. And while previous steps of the Industrial Revolution have aimed at replacing repetitive tasks, AI allows us to automate uh, human or individual decision making. And we make thousands of decisions a day. And if we can automate that, I think will be a major step forward to increasing our prosperity. AI is already outsmarting us today in some niche applications. Uh, we have highly specialized AIs like in medicine, in image recognition and so forth. And they do definitely better than humans. But what we don't have yet is an artificial general intelligence that outperforms humans in a large number of tasks at the same time. When we'll have that, I don't know. It's highly unlikely it will appear anytime soon because there are a number of major obstacles that have to be solved. Well, while everyone is sort of feared about killer robots, I think the threats that AI is posing are much more concrete today, like job losses. I mean, a lot of people will have to undergo retraining. While that's nothing new, it happens ever since the beginning of the Industrial Revolution, I don't think everyone will become an AI expert this time. We've seen previous parts of the Industrial Revolution where people became factory workers instead of, um, I don't know, people who worked on farms. But now AI will change the workforce and I don't think everyone will become an AI developer. So there's a major gap, I think. I've been working on AI for healthcare now for some time. I think it will allow us to bring together a lot of different people from all over the globe. And I think we'll have a great design thinking workshop and come up with some new ideas together.